What's up, people? We are. Uh, hey. We're doing another cooking show. Well, um, he's doing a cooking show. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't have to be close. He's doing a cooking show. I'm just watching. So, I decided to make some chicken cutlets for my wife. I bought one nice big one fresh. And uh, I got to look on the phone because I don't remember what it was, the name of it. So, today I will be making her, what is it called? Chicken cutlet honey barbecue chicken. Got that? Because all I hear is her smacking. Let me say that one more time. <laughs> honey barbecue chicken cutlets in the big boss. So that's what I'm making for my wife today. I got a couple of other things going. I'll let you guys in on that when I'm ready to show you guys that. But right now I'm gonna do that. So I put the ingredients down. Here's the chicken cutlets. That's the chicken cutlets. And all I put on there was some pepper and some uh, Himalayan pink salt. We don't really do white salt in this house. So we go with the Himalayan. So we do that. So as you saw, I had to pat the chicken down for what the recipe called for. No. So I pat the chicken down. So that means the chicken has to be dry. So I, the funk, yeah, don't worry about that. Anyway. I'm popular. So The cutlet is dry, the salt and pepper is on there. I also have her, I also have her glaze. So if you wanna know what this consists of, it is, uh, is, is a half cup of barbecue sauce. Any barbecue sauce you want, I'll show you what we used. We used that boy called Rufus. His name Rufus, Rufus, Rufus Teague, Rufus. So I let my wife pick whatever she want. And this recipe is called for, um, what is it? No, they, they don't have to see what, they don't have to see the brand or any of that. But it called for a whiskey tea. Whiskey or bourbon? Uh, whiskey, uh, well, we did bourbon. It's, it's for both. It's for both. So we did whiskey and bourbon. But the funny thing is my wife picked a barbecue sauce with whiskey in it. Cheers. <laughs> so I like my booze. That's what I wanted to say. I think that's hilarious that she picked a, it's a whiskey maple. <laughs> and this recipe calls for bourbon and whiskey. So uh, it's one tablespoon of whiskey and one tablespoon of bourbon, which I've done already. And that's really it. And two tablespoons of honey. Now let me tell you about the honey. If you're using store-bought honey, I don't whatever grocery store you go to, you can do two tablespoons. I can't use that because we get our honey from a person that actually harvests bees. Harvest bees, where you know he has his own honey farm. So that stuff is really sweet. So I had to use one tablespoon. So if you get your honey from a harvest. Uh, place then you do one if you get it from the grocery store do two and all I did is whisk together That's all I did now. That's all together. I'm gonna put the chicken cutlet in here I'm gonna you know you guys already know y'all know about that big boss. It cooks in like four minutes So I'm gonna let that happen because my wife is eagerly waiting on this because I told her like five hours ago that I was gonna make this and hopefully it turns out to be good this is a an ex you know not an experiment, but I was actually surprised because we haven't been eating meat in our house. Well, I'm not eating it. She is. We haven't been eating meat in our house for, um, for me, it's been um, a good month that we haven't been buying it or cooking it in the house. So at first when he said he wanted to make this for me, I'm like, I'm not really feeling the meat right now, but we found a piece and I'm going to try it. It's not often Ron cooks for me, so I'm going to enjoy it. And we're gonna make some Brussels sprouts to go with it. Oh, and what I mean by pat down the meat, I actually had to dry it. So my wife wanted me to cut off the fat, so I cut off the fat. I actually cleaned the meat. I cut off the fat, anything that was slimy, I wiped that all off. I, I rinsed the meat off. I rinsed the meat off. I rinsed the meat off. And um, yeah, 
So everything is clean, ready to go. I showed you that. And we're gonna start this bad boy in here. So what I'm gonna do, I don't like putting I don't like putting marinade on raw food unless it's already hot and it's all bubbly and ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in the big boss, because these are cutlets. They take they don't take long to cook. So I'm gonna let them cook. I'm gonna let one side cook and then I'm gonna flip it. And then from there, hopefully it's not all the way cooked yet. And then, then I'm gonna put the marinade on there. And then I'm gonna let it simmer into the meat and we're gonna see what it looks like. All right, let's get it. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna put all four in the big balls. Yeah, you can go right check. And I put the salt and pepper on both sides. Hands are clean. Hands are clean, ready to go. Can I get a towel, please? Not that one, the gray one that I had, the one that I had earlier. Please, I need you to go look for it. Oh my gosh. So while she does that, I am, and I'm, oh, okay, let me show you all this. I am using this for chicken cutlets, all right? Got it elevated. Let's put it on. Um, being that they're thin pieces of chicken cutlets, I'm not going to put it on a high temperature. I'm put it on 300 and I'm going to cook it on. I'm going to maybe do about two minutes on both sides. Then I'm going to, I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to put the Q on there. Thank you. I'm going to put the Q on there and then go from there. So let's see what we got. Put it on three and this is real life. I'm not going to pause. I'm going to keep it moving. And those who care, I'm in the middle of deep conditioning my hair. My um, bestie sent me some conditioner from one of those cause boxes. And so I have that in here. I'm going to leave it on for like an hour or two. I just put it on. I wasn't, like I said, this was this video. I wasn't supposed to be in here. I just put this on and um, cleaning up our bedroom and decluttering, getting rid of a lot of hair products and stuff that I don't use, giving some stuff away. and So that's what I'm doing, having my drink, deep conditioning my hair, and hopefully Ron um, sets a movie up for me. I want to watch uh, The Messiah. I think it's called that, or The Young Messiah. What's it called? Messiah. It's Messiah. I want to watch that tonight. I've been wanting to watch it for a while. So hopefully Ron cues that up for me tonight and I can enjoy that and eat the rest of my chips. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to see the Messiah. I want to see Samson. I, Is I it out? That's been out. I can watch that if I you want to watch something I, together. I, nothing against any. I just, I'm not interested in the Messiah. I also want to see Exodus. We still haven't watched that. I've been uh, wanting to watch that for I'm a while. I'm done. I'm done. You're I'm done wanting to watch it? Yeah, I'm done. Well, if you want to watch Samson, I'll watch Samson. Samson, I want to see. No okay. doubt. Even though I know it's, I'm an action guy. I don't, you know. There's plenty of action. All that love story stuff, eh, that's her. I don't, man. If it's like a love drama comedy, then I'm, I'm with that. Give me something to laugh at a little bit. All that laughing, crying, I don't, don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. Remember that song? No. Mariah Carey. I have no idea what you even uh. trying to sing. <laughs> that don't even sound that is nothing. my song. Well, you need to say some more words because I have no <laughs> idea what that's about. Y'all know. Y'all know it. Y'all know. Oh, so let me show y'all. I'm going to turn on my... Um... I like this bottle. Reminds you of like Mad Dog 2020. That's why right? you like the bottle? It's like... Or muscatel, something whiskey. I don't know. Mm, that smells good. His name Rufus. So I just put this on. I got it in my. Uh, we call this thing again. Mm. We call this again. Cast iron pan. So I got it in my. I don't know if I'm. I'm probably too close, but I got my stir fry. I got all my vegetables in a, a cast iron pan. Here, I'll let you guys see that. Bam. Mm, mm, mm. See all that? Mm, mm, mm. Mushrooms, red onions. Uh, what else in there? There's some green peppers, some yellow peppers, 
Um, I got a little, I got a little bit of everything in there. You gotta see what it is. And I'm about to put some of this sweet deliciousness on whatever this vegetable is I took it out of there. So, um, it says, "Go ahead, take a nip. Fine, boozy sweetness." And with that, mm -hmm. and with that, um, uh, my wife told me to do this marinade. I normally don't do a marinade. I normally just put my seasons and I just put my avocado oil in there. But this time I decided to go a little marinade in there. And once it, once it simmers down and once the marinade starts to cook, I'm going to start. And I don't know if I'll do a little bit more because I really don't like this stuff. It but tastes just like soy sauce. This is not to me. But this is what I this is my combination. That's my combination. Where is it? It's already in there. Um. That's my combination. See that? And you can do what how however much you want. That's your decision. I'm not gonna tell you guys how much I put in there. That's on you guys. That's however much you want your vegetables to be sauteed in a marinade. That's totally up to you guys. But if you realistically, if you want to know how much I use, I probably put I probably put half of this in here, and I probably yeah, and I put half, and I put this in here. So I did about a half a cup of both. Let's wait for her. I'm making some Brussels sprouts, some frozen ones, steamed. I'm not touching that. I want to do straight up fresh. She doesn't like Brussels sprouts anyway. And uh, so like I was saying, half a cup. Half a cup if you guys want to see that. Half a cup. Hopefully you guys see it. Half a cup. I put it together and I just whisked it. Whisk. <laughs> I just whisk, whisk, whisk. I just whisk it to all together. Make sure it was uh, the combination was there, and that was really it, y'all. Um, I need. There we go. Look! Look at it! Look at it! Lift this up. Look at it! Uh, <laughs> I guess I guess that's my doing, y'all. <laughs> That's my doing. So, I'm gonna flip. I need you to, is it too heavy for you? No. I'm strong, what are you talking about? See now, this is a mistake I want you guys to see. Don't you do it. Um, this is what I want you guys to see. And this, and this is what I did not do. What is this fancy? This is dumb. This is straight dumb. Use the other one. We have two pot holders. Oh. <laughs> He's calling my pot holders dumb. I bought them from um, Chip and Joanna's Magnolia. And my hand too big for this. Um, why you not use the other one? So this is what I want you guys to see. So this chicken is almost done, right? I should have put something on uh, this rack. I'll for, put spray. I should have put some spray on there so it will not be sticking. I can still get it up, but I just want you guys to see my mistake. Don't make my mistake. Don't make my mistake. And no, for you guys that are crazy out there, my hands is not touching the chicken. I don't care if you touch my chicken. No, I'm just saying. It's, you know, people are. So. I was able to flip that. So remember, if you're using the Big Boss, put some type of spray in there, olive oil, whatever you want to use, that's up to you. So here I am. Sorry, lovey. It's okay. So now it's time to coat the chicken. So what we're trying to do now, we're trying to get as much as this sauce on this chicken without drying it out. That's what we're trying to do now. Because in a couple more, literally seconds, this chicken could be done and I don't want it dry. So I want to put as much as this on here as possible. 
looks delicious already. Because my wife, she likes the, you know, she likes that. She likes that seasoning. Look at her husband. I got seasoning all over me. She likes that <laughs> seasoning. So, uh, so here we go. Put that on top. Mm, smells good. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do that for about a minute. Two minutes. No, no, no. I'm going to do it until I see the season. The, I'm going to do it until I see the barbecue on there. Because that meat is almost done. Remember, remember people, when you're messing with chicken color, you don't want it in there long at all. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to pay close attention to that. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to let it... I'm let that heat hit it for like another 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Then I'm going to get my wife to lift it up. I'm going to pick it up, flip it, and I'm going to put some more barbecue. And I'm going to just put it all on there. And then what I'm going to do in here, inside of here, hopefully you guys can see what I'm touching. In here, it's already hot. So I'm going to turn it off and just let the meat simmer with the Big Boss not on. So whatever's left, whatever's pink, whatever's whatever in here, it should be done. So I'm hoping this come out good. I'm hoping. I don't want it to be dry. I don't like dry meat at all. You want me to turn it over now? I don't want. Hmm. It to, I don't want it dry. There. I want it to be glazed. I don't, I don't want it to be dry. It's going. See the difference between me and her. She honestly don't care if her meat's dry. She really doesn't. But I do. I don't like. I don't like that. But you know, I get the glaziness. I understand that. But I don't like it being dry. To me, it's been in there too long already. What's that, please? And there it is. Oop, there it is. So what I'm gonna do, uh, being that my wife is in here, and I'm gonna let her tell me when she wants her chicken to be stopped. For me, honestly, people, I prefer to turn it off now because it's hot in there. It, it's hot in there. I can touch it. It's hot, but you know, I got those gracing hands. We got those. We got those. Things. They have no fingerprints. They've all been burned off. We got that thick. <laughs> we got that. Ah, forget. We uh. So it's hot. So I'm thinking, turn it off. Do not open the lid and go from there. You understand what I'm talking about? So. So I think that's done. But I'm gonna allow. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell my wife when she wants me to turn it off. It's hers, and I really don't want it to be messed up. So here you guys go, because I don't want to open it again. So check it out before the light goes out. Look at that. Look at that. You can show them my Brussels sprouts. Nobody wants to see that. They want to see. I just go. put salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes on them, and they're delicious. That's it. Nobody eats that. I eat it. Nasty. Delicious. So, can I turn it off? Sure. And we're not going to open that again until she's ready to actually eat it. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
Oh, you guys wanna check out my vegetables, y'all. Here's my vegetables. Damn! What's up? Here we go. Are you falling? No, I gotta see if the ankle's right. So what I'm doing with my vegetables, this is only supposed to be about her chicken, but I felt as though I had to throw some other stuff in there. We got some vegetables. Um, I'm actually, I want my wife to have some of my vegetables because I want to see if they're good to before her. Before you put the shrimp in? Yeah, before I put the shrimp in, because I'm putting shrimp in this as well. And those are marinating. And I can't eat shrimp. My wife can't. You guys know the story. I don't have to repeat that. If you watch as you know. So I'm going to show you what it looked like once I, uh, once I uh, stir the marinade over my vegetables. Well, I'm not going to taste it until we're ready to eat together. Unless you want me to just taste it. No, nah, you don't have to do anything right now. I just want them to see what it looks like right now. What the, uh, uh, but uh, you, should you should taste that meat, though, so they can get your reaction. That's what I was saying. You should do that, yeah. But wait before you do it. I want to get out your way. So wait, my way. Hold on. Just wait a minute, please. Go ahead. It is very moist. You can see the moistness. Can I see the moistness? You just, I don't know. Can you see the moistness? Well, that's gonna piss them off. <laughs> Because the booze is in it. Yeah. It's good. Okay, I'll be back when it's time to eat. Here's my marinade, looking good in my vegetables. I'll show you all that in a minute. I don't know if you guys can see me, but right now I'm so close to the camera because I am trying to get all that goodness on my vegetables. So this is my stir fry. This is my vegetable stir fry. And my, uh, I have shrimp. And like you guys know, my wife cannot have shrimp, but I'm not gonna combine the shrimp with the uh, the vegetable stir fry, I'm gonna put the vet. I'm gonna put the uh, shrimp in its own cast iron skillet, and then let them get pink in there. And then once I do that, then I'll transform. I tr I will transfer it over. But I want you guys to check out what I'm rocking here, man. This is good stuff, yo. Oh my god, it looks delicious, man. Like, look. Let me give you all a. I wish we had smell of vision, y'all. I'm telling you, look at this. Let me, let me, let me, get, let me do this for y'all right here. Wish we had smell of vision, man. Oh my god. So I'm gonna let that cook down. Let this vegetable soak up that marinade. Go from there. Try to get it to taste like that. Chinese food you guys be eating. How oh, I eat it too. I eat the vegetables. The vegetables is good. The steamed vegetables is the bomb. But that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to go for. But with uh fresh vegetables that I just bought from the store today. So I'm gonna let that and that's what it looks like. Hopefully you guys get a really nice view of that. She's back. So, I'm looking at Christmas trees online. What you said you didn't want anything to do with. We are not getting a real tree this year. We have never had a fake tree in 20 years. I grew up with a real tree. I don't like fake trees. But, we have a problem here in Pennsylvania. 
with this bug called the spotter lanternfly. I'm sure if you watch our videos, you've heard me agonize over this before. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about spotted lanternfly. I'm tired of hearing myself talk about it, but they're infested. The trees are infested with these things, and I'm not playing no games. So we're getting a fake tree this year. And um, Michael's, surprisingly, has trees, and they have a sale, and we have a 40% off coupon. So we might be getting a fake tree very, very soon. And I see some really cute ones that I like on here. Some trees are really expensive. I said six foot. Six foot's good, right? We don't want it shorter than that. No. Um, some of them are like 500 bucks. You ready for me to taste it? What? What you got cooking over there. Oh, you can try this too. It's almost there. Uh oh. It's almost there. I want a snack pee. You won't get a, yeah, you can go ahead. Let them see you. Camera's right there. Snap pee. Uh -huh. Oh, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Smoky and flavorful. So, so that means my vegetable stir fry is better than my chicken. Good shit. <laughs> my. No, just good too. <laughs> it is all good, baby. Okay, I'm leaving. And like I said, y'all, I'm really not trying to. Uh, So I'm really not trying to pause anything. I'm making it real life. I'm, we just gonna go through this. We probably had a half hour by now, but that's all I really wanted you guys to see. Um, that's my uh, that's my vegetable stir fry. I showed you that. Um, I showed you how I made the chicken. My wife said it was great. I'm not gonna have it. That's for her and my niece. And here's my shrimp. I know you guys gonna go. Ugh, that looks gross, but. That's my shrimp. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show it to you, but I'm going to pour it in my skillet. You put the water in too? What? You putting that water in too? My marinade? Yeah. Yes, I am. No, no, I didn't put it in the uh, vegetable stir fry. Oh, okay. Huh. It's cooking separate. Oh, okay. And here's my shrimp, y'all. That's my shrimp. So, if you guys, if you people want to know what that is, Lovey, come here. I need your phone. Oh, man. What you doing for you to say, oh, man? Relaxing. Maxing and relaxing. I, I told you I got screenshots on your phone that I need them. So that's on you. So, Um, so for the shrimp, it is a half a cup of honey, it's a quarter of a cup of soy sauce, it, I have three cloves of garlic minced, tell them what that's about, lovey. Minced garlic, basically you just take a whole garlic, oh this is all that's left of it, a whole garlic clove. Break these pieces off. I don't need that anymore. Then press it in this contraction right here. And you have nice, fresh, fragrant, fresh, fragrant garlic. What she said. Yeah. And uh, two tablespoons of butter. So what I did with my butter, I melted down my butter. And um, then I put it in the concoction. And uh, the green onions for garnish. We're not gonna do any green onions. We have green onion though. I don't need it because I'm putting. Oh, and you're I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in my stir fry, so I don't need that. 
My wife is gonna get some of the uh, vegetable stir fry and then I'm gonna put the rest of the shrimp in there. So, what? <laughs> this stove's not on. I just turned it off. Oh, <laughs> on the shrimp? I don't want it on yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. So let me run back the ingredients because someone's one was being really rude. <laughs> That's why I can't be in here. Uh, a half a cup of honey, quarter of a cup, quarter of a cup, <sighs> a soy sauce, three cloves of garlic, minced, uh, juice of small lemon. So you just take a lemon, cut it open, you know, squeeze that bad boy out. Of you guys got one of those lemon squeezers you do that just get some lemon squeezer in there um two tablespoons of butter i melted mine and uh that's it you put it all together you whisk it you put your shrimp in there let your shrimp marinate for about a half hour and then you put it in whatever you have a skillet uh whatever you have and you turn on your fire which i'm about to do And I'm going to show you guys that when they turn pink. Let's be honest, they're shrimp. They only take about two, three minutes for it to be completely done. So after I show you guys that, I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to bring my wife back in, and we're going to say peace to y'all. All right? And I'm not cutting it. It's going to keep running. So we're going to run the video. So y'all going to see me basically sit here and flip my shrimp and all that goodness. No cuts, baby. No cuts. Call me lazy. Don't matter. No cuts. Are you going to strain your stir fry since it's so wet? Hey, that's how, that's how it is when you get it from the Asian store. There's wet. Uh, What's the problem? You don't want no wet stir fry? Oh, I don't have any, so it doesn't matter. So what difference though? Why are you chiming in then? Cause I figure for reheat tomorrow, you don't want to be soggy. When I put it away for you tonight, I'll um, I'll drain it. I believe I will probably drain it before you even do it. So you guys want to see what my stir fry looks like? It's done. There she blows. And there's my shrimp in the marinade. And I'm cooking it in. By the way, I'm not going to keep my shrimp in the marinade. As they get done, I'm going to put it in here. So we're going to strain this. And then we're going to strain this. And then we're just going to combine them. But the seasoning and the goodness is already going to be in there. You got to remember, when you cook vegetables, your vegetables soak up what you got it in anyway. Right? Right. And the same with the shrimp. If you marinate it for a half hour or however long you soak shrimp, shrimp end up tasting whatever you soak the shrimp in, right? Right. So once my shrimp is done, I'm gonna show you guys what it look like once they turn pink. It ain't gonna take that long. And we're gonna sign off. Cause my wife's chicken's done, stir fry is done. When the shrimp is done, we gonna say adios. And my wife got her stinking, a little nasty little vegetable she shows y'all. <laughs> yeah. And I made this, I made this video really late. It's a late, it's late for me on a Sunday. So, uh, I don't know if this is going to get posted tonight or tomorrow. So I'm going to try my best to post it tonight. I'm going to try. If it don't, you guys will see it Monday. All right. Capiche. Turn up the heat on my shrimp so I can get them rocking. No 
No cutscenes, baby. Keep it going. No cutscenes, baby. Keep it going. So that's basically a uh, love you come in because I'm about to say something and I just want you to chime in on it. So as you guys know, my journey of, of not eating beef or pork or chicken, um, it's going successful. I don't, you know, crave for it as much as I used to. And um, me and my wife had an argument um, maybe a couple of months ago and I argued with her that fish and chicken are not meat. And then she said, well, look at it this way. If it's a muscle, it's me. So I said uh, it has a face. It has a face. It's it's me. So but shrimp don't have mus a face. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> so and we argued about that and argued about that and then she showed me something and I read it and I go, Oh wow, yeah, you're right. If it's a muscle and it has a face, it's a me. So she was right and I told her that and I just want you guys to know. Um my wife was right on that. And eventually, I'm going to try to stop eating fish, uh, crab, and shrimp. And then I'm going to just be straight up totally vegan. That, that's the goal. Because I'm getting older, and um, I see what's going on with my body as I get older. You know what I mean? As you get older, you need to get healthier. And as I get older, I don't have as much energy as I normally used to. So the more vegetables and the more fruit and the more I take care of my body, I can still have as much energy as a 20 year old. It won't last forever, but at least I feel better. Cause I don't want to be 45 years old and feel like I'm 65 years old. And I noticed that ever since he's been, this has been since July that he really cut back on the meat and then completely cut it out. And I noticed a difference in him. Like he's slimmer, he has more stamina, he doesn't hit the snooze button anymore, ever. Like this, when the alarm goes off, he gets up and I know that it's because of he's that because he's eating better. You know, we may have people who will chime in and say, "Oh, we're meat eaters. We're meant to meat eat. God gave it to us to eat." We agree with all that. We're fine with all that. But it's just a personal preference. We're not doing this for religious reasons. We're not doing this for anybody else's reasons. We're doing this as a conscious decision for our health and for you know what we think is morally right. So we watched some movies that totally disgusted us about meat and um you know those those movies are meant to do that they have an agenda but just because they have an agenda doesn't mean that they're incorrect and um we definitely noticed the difference in him since he's cut out the beef and the pork and um just having his seafood and i you know it speaks for itself his his um his appearance speaks for itself and this is a cooking show, so I'm not going to get too crazy in the provocativeness. But um, I'm going to say it really quick, and I'm just going to get out of it so you guys can see my shrimp. Um, when I was a carnivore, when I eat meat, when I eat, when I eat chicken, beef, pork, whatever, um, me and my wife can be handling our business. I go to sleep. Now, I'll, I'll probably do one of these and wake right up. And if I move, I'm up. It has a lot to do with your mental state, how you feed your body, and how you produce what you're doing with your body. If you constantly keep doing what you're doing, how are you going to find results if you keep doing what you're doing? If mm -hmm. you want better results, you do better for yourself, your mind, body, soul, and spirit. And you have to figure out what works for you. What works for us may not work for you. True. You may find that not having meat is a problem for you. That's your business. That's We're not saying what we're doing is right or wrong. We're just saying it's right for us. And... If you guys have a problem with something, look it up. Like, I believe my wife, all her mucus, she tells me it has a lot to do with um, Infl inflammation. Inflammation, but she eats a lot of dairy. And I think a lot of dairy has For sure. something to do with that. For sure. And if you guys watch my challenge that I have already out, you guys know that I already, well, I won't say much about that. Just go watch that video. But anyway, we are finito. And I'm gonna show you the finishing result of the stir fry. I'm gonna show you the finishing result of the of the shrimp. I want it to be bubbling. I want y'all to see that. And I'm gonna put you guys back on the shelf. And me and this beautiful one gonna tell you, adios. So that's the finishing. I will uh, drain this. Yeah, we're gonna drain that. And voila, look at that. Look at that. All right. So, cause this is a long video. 
I don't know if I'm in the frame. We're in the frame. But uh, that's it for today. And I didn't want to get too crazy. But all you men out there, research. Um, I'm not saying I am where I want to be at. I am no 20-year-old. I am no 25-year-old. I'm nowhere near what they have as far as energy. I'm nowhere near that. But I'm telling you, it increases. And more and more and more I do right for my body. I'm telling you, it really, really works. You know what I mean? So, this is our cooking show. Actually, you see me more today. <laughs> but it's always going to be ours. We are done. We are out, and thanks for hanging with the Graces. Peace out, homies. Peace. So I wanted to show you guys the finishing plate of what my wife is eating tonight. That's hers. Hopefully you can see that. That's what she got. And here is that shrimp vegetable stir fry. That's what we got. Got it? All right.